In the heart of Rio, it's in this port district that the history of Brazil has its painful origins, which are the field of expertise of Thais Rosa Pinheiro. Why is this district called Little Africa? Do you have any idea? It's a tribute to the presence and influence of the Africans who populated this district and the surrounding port area. She is a tour guide specializing in Afro-Brazilian culture. Today, she's giving a history lesson to two tourists from the Amazon. Many came from the Congo, Angola and the whole region. After the abolition of slavery in 1888, the Minister of Finance ordered the destruction of all documents relating to the slave trade. It took years of investigation to unearth the truth behind the local African heritage. This is the archaeological site of the Cais Valongo. This is where over a million Africans arrived. And for a long time, it was a bus station. For almost a whole century, we didn't know the history of this place. My grandfather is European, Portuguese, and it's easy to know exactly where he comes from. On my mother's side, we're all of mixed race. We don't know if we're from Africa, if we're indigenous. Thais decided to go in search of her story. In 2017, she had a DNA test. Cameroon and Congo, 37 percent. Nigeria, 20 percent. I felt a bit Nigerian, maybe because I come from the state of Bahia in the north, and there's a very strong influence of Nigerian culture there. A DNA test costs between 80 and 100 euros in Brazil. Demand has exploded, with an increase of 1,000 percent in the past three years. Meanwhile, two researchers from the University of São Paulo have gone to the heart of the Amazon. Kelly Nunes and Julio Andrade have come to a village inhabited mainly by Afro-descendants. They're starting a new project. Brazil's first public DNA database. Around 50 village elders, like Don Marcos, are taking part in the collection. It was my grandfather who heard this story from his grandfather that our village festival originated in Morocco. At 75, his memories, however faded, are as precious as his saliva. Through the study of genetics, Kelly and Julio have also become historians. We're going to be able to trace the origins of your ancestors, your grandparents, great-grandparents, where they came from in Africa. It's a historical reconstruction. It's not just about identifying where they came from, but when they came, how. And to reconstruct this journey, we need to collect as many memories as possible that will help us to interpret the results. Back in Sao Paulo, Kelly Nunes and her team will analyze the saliva samples in this university laboratory. Over the course of the next few months. All the samples have numbers and are completely anonymous. No names are written on them. It's this machine that will then separate the genome in the saliva. Human DNA is made up of three billion letters. The researchers will analyse just six million of them, enough to be able to compare with other DNA banks around the world and identify similarities with other regions. Now we're going to interpret the DNA letters that are translated using this programme. So we can see from the fluorescent colours that certain individuals have identical letters and therefore this common gene. The aim is to enrich Brazilian history. But not only that. Certain diseases are more prevalent in certain regions of the world than in others, and understanding how they manifest themselves in people who are descendant from these regions helps us to understand why and how Brazilians also develop these diseases. This is very important for scientific research. It is a scientific and historical quest with lots of room to grow. This is Macapá, capital of Amapá, a small state in northern Brazil. International Africa Day is being celebrated. To mark the occasion, Kelly Nunes has come to train local nurses in DNA testing. For several days, they will be crisscrossing the region to collect DNA from 500 residents aged over 70, all of whom are of African descent. 
I want to know where I come from before the Almighty calls me back. There's a family here, for example, that has been called the Congo family for generations because the father always said that they were descended from the Congo. But his parents are already dead, and there are many stories like that. For example, my name is Almeida. The research we've done shows that we come from Wida, but we have no idea if that's true. Wida is a former slave port in Benin. A delegation from that country has been invited to the event. The mayor of Wida has no doubt that there is a connection. The results of the Brazil DNA project could strengthen ties between the two countries. We can say with a great deal of certainty now that we have relatives here. We'll know in the next few days, and we're going to confirm this by giving them Beninese nationality. As the president of Benin confirmed during a recent official visit, any Brazilian who can provide DNA proof will be able to obtain Beninese nationality, further strengthening partnerships with Africa, known here as the mother continent.